All right, welcome back. Uh, Coach Forster and Coach Arthur here. This is Unit 8 in our first unit on chemical reactions. There yep. will actually be three total units uh, dealing with chemical reactions. Uh, this is just kind of the first one. We're going to look at some basic uh, rules for chemical reactions mm -hmm. as well as how to what we call balance these. Balance so chemical reactions. We will uh, kind of build upon what we do in this unit of chemical reactions as we go uh, through the other two. The next. So a chemical equation is just described. It's a representation of the reaction that's taking place. And so we're going to mm -hmm. practice writing these equations. It's kind of like what's in that picture down there. But it's uh, a representation of, of just what is happening using those chemical symbols mm -hmm. from the periodic table and using the chemical formulas that we've learned how to write. Uh, that's what, how we write these chemical reactions. Mm -hmm. A couple of terms that are important. Uh, first of all, we've got what we call our reactants. Mm -hmm. uh, the reactants are these things over here on the left side of the equation that are, and they're labeled uh, in the diagram down there. Mm -hmm. But in this case, hydrogen and oxygen are the two reactants. And then on the right side, well, we call those the products. That's the what, product. That's what we get out of the reaction. Uh, in this case, is H two O or or uh, water. Water. Mm -hmm. okay. Water's our product on that side. Sometimes we'll have, I mean, many times you'll have more than one product, but here we only have one, so. You could have one, you only have to have one on each side. Right. And then you can have multiple on the other mm -hmm. side, or uh, just depending on the type of reaction that is taking place. So what is a chemical reaction, or a chemical equation? Well, uh, a chemical equation is just a, uh, just a shorthand way to represent what a chemical reaction is. So a chemical reaction is the process, all right, and uh, it's the process of one or more substances that are changed into others, and that's just represented by a chemical equation. So chemical reactions happen every day, it's, it's any millions time, of them. It's, it's any time we have a chemical change taking mm -hmm. place, like we talked about. If it's just a physical change... Uh, say a change in state or something like that, there's not really a change, in change taking place. Mm -hmm. But if we have a chemical change where a new substance is being made or something of that effect, mm -hmm. that's when we've got this chemical reaction taking place. Mm -hmm. And in turn, we can write a chemical mm -hmm. equation of that. And, and that chemical equation helps us understand what is happening. Remember, we're, we're taking something that we start with and it's ending in something different. Right. So that's what a chemical equation says. And so... There's a couple of parts, and mm -hmm. again, we've, we've talked about the reactants and the products, but we wanted to break it down just a little further for you. Mm -hmm. the, there's three really uh, main parts that make up a chemical equation. First of all, the reactants, reactants. which we've talked about on the left side. The, left. the products, which we've talked about on the right side. Mm -hmm. And I should say, these are the three parts that occur in every, every reaction. reaction. Every reaction has, in some form or fashion, these three things. Mm -hmm. Reactants, products, oh. and then... Very important is is what we call the yield symbol. The yield symbol. Kind of like an equal sign, mm -hmm. but it's an arrow because it's showing that the reaction is taking place that direction. Right. And so when those in this case we've got two reactants. Those two reactants mm -hmm. combine to form or to yield this certain product. Right. And right. So, so that is uh, an overview of the, those three right. things that are involved in every, every reaction. Every chemical equation has those. So you want to talk a little about yeah. subscripts that we add? Mm -hmm. Now, on that previous equation, we had we uh, were talking about chemical equations, and the subscripts are part of the information that is given in the um, chemical equation. So the subscript refers to the number found on the lower right side of an element and is attached to the compound. So, for instance, H2O, we're talking about the 2 there. So that's the subscript on the on the uh water molecule. So these numbers tell you how many atoms of, of, the, of the elements are present in the equation and it's an explanation that says on the product side, okay, we had two hydrogen atoms, okay, two H2, as uh, as well as two oxygen atoms. Okay, they're talking about H2O2, oh, I guess. Oh, they're talking about H2O2, I guess. Okay, which is hydrogen peroxide. Hydrogen peroxide. <laughs> Um, so the subscript can never change, okay? So those are the numbers. That's an important idea there. They can never change. This is what we've done in past units where we're mm -hmm. writing those chemical formulas. Well, once you have that chemical formula written correctly, mm -hmm. that's it. You don't change that you anymore. Don't change anything. Uh, we do something else uh, further along in this process here. So if you had like barium chloride, all right, that 2 is a subscript because barium was a 2 plus, and we move that down there to make it... A, a, a two neutral applies compound. To the chlorine. The two applies not to the apply chlorine. Not to the barium. Not, not to the barium. Okay. All right. Now, 
They can also be used in compounds like this, where it says OH with a 2 outside the parentheses. Mm -hmm. And this is a little different than what we just talked about because since it's outside the parentheses, that means it's going to apply to both of those atoms. Both so matters. there's going to be two oxygens and two hydrogens in that case I, uh, with just one subscript. Mm -hmm. and so that's what parentheses, you got to know if it's outside parentheses, it's going to apply to everything in those parentheses. Right. It's kind of like the distributive property in math where you have something outside of parentheses and you distribute it in to uh, multiply it. And so what about this next example here? We've got H2O. And then a 2 outside the parentheses. So in, in, in this case, H2 inside the parentheses, we have two hydrogens. Uh -huh. But we've also got the two, two outside. outside. So you have multiply those two. You've actually got four total hydrogens. So there. four <laughs> hydrogens. And how many oxygens? Uh, two times one. Remember, that's a one there. So that'd be two oxygens. Two oxygens. So that's how you deal with subscripts mm -hmm. in parentheses. In parentheses. Okay, so I think uh, one of the last things we're going to discuss here is... Uh, dealing with what we call coefficients. And mm -hmm. So this will be a new term for us. Um, and this is how we, we, we do that process of balancing our reaction. Mm -hmm. A coefficient is used um, to tell us if we need to change the amounts of a reactant or a product mm -hmm. to balance that reaction. Because we know conservation of mass, we've talked about, uh -huh. whatever you have beginning has to equal has whatever to. you have at the end. Right. We can't destroy mass. We can't create it out of nowhere. Mm -hmm. We've got to have the same stuff on each side of that equation. So in other words, in this equation down here, I've got to have the same number of hydrogens on the left side of the arrow right. that I have on the right side of the arrow. And we'll talk about how to balance exactly how you want to go about it uh, in the next vodcast. But uh, here we're just talking about these numbers in front of these compounds, these coefficients. And so I'm not changing anything about the element or the compound. I'm just adding a number in front. So that's the important part. You're not changing anything. You're okay. just adding stuff in so front. So on the left side of this equation here, mm -hmm. We've got the 2 in front of H2. Right. That 2 applies to hydrogen. Hydrogen only. Okay. And is going to multiply Mul by the other 2 there. Right. So it tells us we have four total four hydrogen, hydrogen atoms. Okay. Oxygen has no coefficient. So just like on subscripts, it's an understood 1. Right. So we've got two oxygens. Two oxygens. And on the right side, we've got that 2 out in front. So that applies to hydrogen, mm -hmm. first of all. Four hydrogens, uh -huh. but that also applies to oxygen. The distributed the, the property again. The coefficient in front applies to both. Yeah. There does not have to be parentheses in that case. No. A coefficient in front of that applies to everything in that compound. Gives us two oxygens. So you see in this case we've got four hydrogens on the left and on the right. And we've got two, two oxygens, oxygens on the left and on the right. right. So that's an, a balanced equation. And again, we'll go over how to do that a little, a little bit more next later one. on. Next so time. that's it for this one. We'll see you guys next time. See ya.